Anyway, here we go. Enter Zormor with a party of other players. Yeah, it's 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 a hard situation. It's a hard situation. There we go. War Corps Zormor. <laughs> New dungeon. Let's go. All right. <laughs> DGM, uh, I don't know, 80 or something. I already like this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yo. <laughs> Absolute fire music. Let's go. Got a mug. It looks so good. Work for snow snow wobbler. <laughs> I see, I see. Old feet. Oh. Oh, what? Ah. Okay. I guess I understand now. Alright, be ready to switch up. So he goes here first? Yeah, I died... Uh, I died with the thing up. Not even kidding. I died with uh, leaving that up. Well, if it's called feed, then it's up here, then. I'm just following the pursuit. Oh, okay. That ended very fast. Oh, that's a cute little thing.
Do you need to do that? Sorry, what? Yeah, the DPS is saying for both. No idea. I don't know. Yeah, let me do my... Let me actually do my stuff. There we go. Yes. Alright, let's see. What else do I have? I don't have much right now, baby. Let me pop the arm's length. Hang on. There we go. Oh, be that way. Alright, now I can pop something good. Close enough. Oh, the bird that attacked us. Alright, let's see what gimmicky mechanics you have. Into, into pieces, okay. I'll, I'll go here. I'll go far. I'll go far. I don't know what's the diff. I don't know what the difference is of getting going together or far. You know. Uh, right. So you made a big A. Okay. Oh, look away. Okay, same deal. I don't know, so this one is extremely straightforward in comparison to the first one. Bye, birdie. Don't know why that reminded me of the death of Bloodwing. Who? Bloodwing from Borderlands. Look at the thunder or an aimer to you. Whoop, I'm, I'm stepping on top of damage. Stepping on what? On top of damage. All right, I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my uh, living dead just in case. Just in case I'm not looking, and then uh, I'll just you know, yeah, and that happens. Oh, then we 
happening when it stopped killing me because you used it. No, oh, okay. I have... Oops, that's the wrong one, but okay. I have another... Another... Pull down, ready? Oh, there he is. Who does he remind me of? I am Kurfurus, Elector of the Dawn Servant. Prepare to be tested. Stone work. The stone worked. Chronicles of it. Return the hunger of roiling waters. Okay. the balls. Oh, I thought we were supposed to dodge the balls. No, no, eat the balls. What? I touched it. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give you got enough balls. What? You hopped the ball. No, never mind. We'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Watch the tornadoes. Yes, I am.
Okay, not bad, not bad. However, some dungeons are often like that, right? We go- we get here, we get here, the first boss is like, this surprising new thing, and then the last boss is like, okay, <laughs> I see, you know, alright, well. Very good, Claimant. Once more, I name myself Gur Fulur, High Luminary to my people and chosen elector of the Dawn Servant. You are much bigger than the others in the village. All your Kui were once my equal in size, but ever since we were decimated by disease, it is rare to see a child reach our former stature. You speak of the contagion which afflicted the Shak Tural expedition. The one recorded in your murals. It is a chapter of our history that is entangled with the legend of the Golden City. I've heard that legend originated with the Yok Hui. Is this true? With the visions our ancestors had, to be precise, Preceding the campaign into Shak Tural, many were visited by dreams of glittering splendor. They described a paradise that knew neither war nor famine, where people lived lives of eternal happiness. A single dreamer might have been dismissed, but when dozens, if not hundreds, spoke the same, the luminaries became convinced it was divine revelation. <gasps> then the expedition. Its purpose was to find the city of gold. Yes, help was marshaled from all the territories under our control. Lands were scoured on a massive scale. Ah. Little wonder the legend is so similar across Tural. Those involved with the search would have passed the stories down to their children. Another claimant I see. I will test you yeah, I to say it. as I have tested those who came oh. before you. Oh, he got a, a little, yeah, a little, uh, little sense. Yeah, a little sense of being. <laughs> and he's ready. Here and now, I think he means. All right, good luck, guys. Good luck, boys. Put up a show. Second. 
great promise for you and your sister's success in performing the feat of proof. You both shall be rewarded. Sour green apple. Sour green apple. Three to go. I'm gonna assume the other two brothers didn't have a problem either. How glorious it would have been to race thee and thine to the summit. Though mayhap not whilst being hounded by Bakul Jaja and his minions. True. Again, that swine shows his disdain right. for the right. Right, sour green apple Jolly Rancher. Strangely, despite his eagerness to antagonize us, he withdrew as soon as we fought back in earnest. I cannot fathom what he was trying to achieve. On a similar note, I'm also curious as to why you chose the peak of Warcor Zormor for the conclusion of this feat. The earlier stages saw us learn the history of the Yokui. Does this location also hold some special meaning for your people? Yes. It is a place of great significance. And he told us the significance. All these monuments. It will be significant. Is this a burial ground? <laughs> Every high luminary before me is enshrined in this earth. Alongside them are the heroes who bravely stood their ground when Vali Armanda brought ruin to Urkopacha eight decades past. Hmm, that explains why there are so many. Sorolja, I should have known you'd arrive here first. Third promise. How relieved I am to find you in good health. That sounded like the biggest lie I've ever heard in my life. I, I cannot fathom you saying that. Sarelcha, you bastard! I should end you here and now! Remember where you are. You will mind your conduct, or you will Right. <clears throat> Sorry. I see no reason to delay further. Show me my father's sepulcher. Papa has a grave? Has she not been listening, like, whatsoever? Every one of them have a grave, even if they're not dead. Upon this monument are inscribed the names of those who sealed away the monstrous Valley Garbanda. Your fathers included. Like this guy's throat must be so sore after dubbing this guy, you know? Upon the monument are inscribed names of those. It's like, holy shit, dude. That makes my throat itch. Gulul Jaja, Master of Resolve and Reason, Champion of Peace. Has a big grave. Look at this one. Ketanram. He has a big body. Uncharted oceans. Ketanram, the Lamintan explorer. Does this mean he joined Gulul Jaja on his travels? Kafkiwa, Seeker of the Unknown. How strange to see your name here. It was unheard of to build living sepulchers for those who were not Yokui. 
But their great deed demanded recognition. Master of resolve and reason? Champion of peace? Papa really did some amazing things. He carved his path with martial skill. Yet it was clever thinking which allowed him to trap Valley Garmanda within its own ice magics. Martial skill and clever thinking. Hmm. I can't compete with Zorolja's mastery of the Head of Resolve's techniques. And when it comes to knowledge, Kona's the one who most takes after the Head of Reason. Is there anything that I've gotten from Papa? Something I do better than the others? It seems they get on other people's good side more than the others. You have his love for peace. What else defines your father aside strength and knowledge? I mean, we're gonna go with the first option. Of course. Papa's love for peace, for his people. That is what he's given me. And I'm fighting to preserve the peaceful Tural he built. And meanwhile, you have a, a stupid two-headed idiot that doesn't even know why he wants the throne. He just wants it. What in the hell was that? Probably the the, the Pidrao or whatever it's called. Gulagarmanja. You must return to Warlar's Echo immediately. Okay. Valigarmanda has broken free. Yes, let's go. <laughs> I presume that was about the unholy sound. Yep. It was indeed. Valigarmanda is free. We need to get back there now. Oh, how fortuitous. We have been gifted an opportunity to outpace our rivals. I don't know, that the little lackey that follows this guy, I think he's very much a snake. He's not the, like the head of reason from like his like you know right hand. It's just a little sniveling weasel that wants something. Uh, 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 like, you know, he's not. He doesn't do good for that guy. He's not a snake coffee, he's a lizard. Sure. He's a little wriggling worm, that's what he is. Alright, we gotta go back at once. <laughs>